barracks, he was the unknown soldier. But Jonna Lee Rigby of the 2nd Battalion, the Royal Regiment of Fusiliers, is the soldier whose death has shocked the country. The 25-year-old from Manchester, known as Riggers, witty, cheeky, humorous, and a loving father to his son Jack, just two years old. A British soldier killed not in war, but at home. This was a senseless uh, murder of a soldier who served the army, hopefully in a variety of roles, uh, including operational tours in Afghanistan, and our uh, thoughts today are with his family and loved ones uh, who are trying to come to terms with this terrible loss. Our first thought in every year was the soldiers, family and close friends, and um, you know, it was always a tragedy, um, it's particularly poignant that it happened uh, on the streets of this capital city of ours, but there's where our first thoughts lie. The name of the soldier, but we also learned the name of one of the men suspected of killing him. Michael Abbasalajo, born in Britain with a Nigerian background, he studied at Greenwich University, the 28-year-old a convert to Islam. His views have known now, but sources confirm both suspects were already known to the security services. Although sources say both the suspects' names did feature in security service investigations, they say there was no assessment they were planning an attack, and many names do come before the security services in their investigations. There will be questions for the police and security services. One suspect sources say was stopped last year trying to go to Somalia. But for now, this is all about the investigation into Drummer Rigby's death. So the police searched houses across the country linked to the suspect. A flat in Greenwich where he studied. In Lincoln, believed to be the home of Michael Adabalajo's father, the police arrived. His parents said to be devout Christians. And in Romford, where he grew up and went to school. At the Woolwich barracks with the flag at half-mast, the Prime Minister arrived to meet the soldiers who said Drummer Rigby was at the heart of the platoon, always with a smile on his face. Earlier at Downing Street, a resolute Prime Minister insisted we will never give in to terror. What happened yesterday in Woolwich has sickened us all. On our televisions last night and in our newspapers this morning, we have all seen images that are deeply shocking. The people who did this were trying to divide us. They should know something like this will only bring us together and make us stronger. Today, our thoughts are with the victim and with his family. They are grieving for their loved one, and we have lost a brave soldier. A brave soldier indeed. Lee Rigby was a drummer, a man who entertained with music, a true warrior who came home from Afghanistan but met his death on the streets of the country that he served. Lucy Manning, ITV News, Woolwich.